Hello everyone and welcome back. Here today in this video, I will show you on how to set up WinLater emulator on a Mali GPU device. So right now I'm using Redmi Note 13, powered by MediaTek Dimensity 6080 with Mali G57 GPU and 8 gigs of RAM. And here we are on the official version. All right, now download and install WinLater package. Right now this is the latest stable version. Open WinLater. Enable storage permission. It starts to install files. Now head over to settings section. So currently it's installed with Wine 9.2 version. I'll write on the box 64 and 86 version, leave them as default. Also set both presets to compatibility. Save settings. Now add container. Set resolution. Set lower 800 into 600 or even lower for better performance. Select graphics driver to Veer GL, which is universal for all devices. Select Wine D3D, audio driver to pulse audio. Enable FPS meter if you want. Okay, now down to Wine configuration. Here set the theme you want. Enable multi-thread functionality. Set GPU to GTX 480. Set off screen rendering to FBO. Video memory to maximum size. All right now, go to Wine Components, same leave them as default. Also same for environment variables, no need to change them. Now go to Advanced tab. Enable both the presets to intermediate. Enable WoW 64. Set processor affinity for both 32-bit apps and main tasks. Now save the settings of the container. Now boot the container. And there we go, it's loaded. Toggle full screen mode. All right, now go to start menu, system tools. Let's check out and see if it's actually configured. Well, the Direct3D works well, hitting more FPS. Now go to wine configuration, set Windows 7, or at least choose Windows XP for older DirectX 9 titles. These are the pre-installed libraries. Apply and save settings. All right guys, it's time to test games on Mali, but don't expect big titles because most of older titles runs based on DirectX 9 or even lower, using some shader drivers for MediaTek, Exynos, or Google Tensor devices. So, try to find out games which are more focused on CPU. We all know Mali GPU lacks in drivers, so don't expect more on it. Set resolution to low, also the quality. If you increase the quality, you will get black screen rendering, also enable frame skipping. Right now, here all the requirements got matched as we configured in the beginning. I'm John Champion, alongside me is Jim Beglin, and we're enjoying the atmosphere inside the unique stadium that is Wembley. Well, I think we're very fortunate to be sitting here watching this one, John. I'm really looking forward to what should be a really exciting match. These are the lineup. Kickoff imminent. This rain shouldn't... As you can see, it is running well. Good thing is that the device is not heating at all, guys, and it looks quite stable. It's come through to him nicely. It's opened up nicely for him. 
Here's a cross. And the cross cleared away. Let's test out another one. All right, same for here. All specifications got matched. Okay, not bad at all, guys. But still, there are a lot of other textures got failed to render. Maybe we need to try with Shader 3.0 Driver. Best settings for other Molly phones. If you are using low end, then choose Intel HD 4000. Set max video memory. On environment variable, add new. Here you can choose different variable, or you can even assign it as custom. Simply enter this variable Mesa GL version override. Here you can assign a value or well no. You can give value from here. Set GL version based on titles you render. So set 3.3 compat. Now, okay, these are the settings. What about Win Later Frost? Well, I tested it out. It gives better FPS in a while, but still, it has some bugs. As you can see here, it's not working well. But there are no issues on the official one, as I shown in the beginning. So that's it all for today's video, guys. Hope you liked also subscribed. Also, if you have any issues related to it, let me know. And thanks for watching.